Hi, I'm Laurie and welcome to my channel. What I have coming your way is a super quick, effective and challenging barless workout. This is more of a bar boot camp workout style. I'm going to be giving very minimal cues. So if you are new to working out, I would suggest one of my other videos, but if you are up for a challenge today, let's get right to it. Again, minimal cues, we're gonna be flowing right into the next, very little recovery time. We're gonna start with a warm up, but what you're going to need, I highly recommend doing this on a mat. And we will also need a set of dumbbells, pretty light. You can go as low as three or as heavy to eight. Eight is probably a little too heavy for me. I would be good with just around five pounds. Again, everyone is different. So if you find that you're not able to finish the exercises, drop the weight selection. Everyone is different. I would also recommend doing this near a wall because we will have some balancing exercises like a lunge and this is there for support so that's always an option as well so go ahead grab all your stuff and let's get to work all right let's get to it this is your warm-up so sit nice and tall we bring the feet out then in turn out of the hips then in we're gonna get right into it we have a few more like this it's four three two hold the feet out now step it wide we're in that sumo squat just start to pulse Pretty soon, we're gonna press off with this right heel and drag that foot back into our starting position, really hitting the adductors, adducting the leg and squeezing it up and in on the way in. So let's get to it. It's down, bring it in, down, bring it in, down, squeeze it up. You have four more. And three, you hold it wide. Two, last one, hold and pulse for eight, seven, six and then we do something new four three two now hold hands go out to a t we're bringing it down and then lifting bringing it onto the calf muscles really squeeze the calf muscles as we extend so it's lower to the heels bring it up now tempo down lift down squeeze those calves brace the core for four three then we hold two a one whole bottom pulse down, 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 down. Last eight, seven, six. Then we go to the other side. Four, three, two. Now we do this one slow. We bring it in. Heel goes in towards the right and then bring it down. Left foot, let's hit it. It's down, squeeze it in. Squeeze, squeeze. Here's your last four. Three, two, now hold and pulse. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, now hold. Arms go out to a T, flip the palms up. We're going to go back to that squat. Wow, there, my accent just came out. We squat, then we lift. Squat, squeeze the calves. All right, so you have the option to stay right here. If you're feeling it today, we're going to advance it. We're going to add a little jump with the hand. So it's here, land soft, land soft, land soft, land soft. Like you got a sleeping baby right beside of you. Power through the legs, reset, power, reset. You have the option to just bring it to that calf raise. Eight, seven, six, five, last four, keep those knees out, two, one, now hold here, start to pulse, down, chest is lifted, re-engage, catch that breath, start to heel to the feet in until they're slightly wider than hip distance, now we're coming into a traditional squat, really sit back in that chair, heavy in the heels, knees, directly over the ankles, not letting them cave in. That's what we don't want to see. Make that mind muscle connection to the hammies and glutes. Eight, seven, and six, you hold bottom. Four, three, two, now hold. Sink one inch lower. We start to bring the legs out, then in, out, then in. So just abducting, very slight, but the tension should start to go from the glutes 
to the outer glutes just a little bit. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, look at me, two, one, release those legs, inhale, arms reach up. As we exhale, swan dive, let's grab those weights and we're getting right to it. Come into first position, heels in, toes out, palms face in. We bring the dumbbells out to the side. We hold here, we're really targeting the medial delts. So make sure it's right around shoulder level. We control it on the way down. Next move, we bring it up 45 degree position, thumbs on top. So you're making a V. I'm gonna give you a little, little different view. I don't know why I just said that, but V-shaped position with the arms. Bring it down. Now keep that neutral grip straight out in front. So if we were looking at a clock, it'd be 12, two, and 10, and then three and nine. Can't do math, it's not my strong point. So let's keep that up. This is gonna burn. Lateral raise, 45, front raise. Medial delts, front and medial, front. Working the different heads of the shoulder muscle. If you have super light weights, you may not be feeling it by now, but that's why we do high repetitions and bar. Giving those legs a little bit of break. Don't worry, we'll add it back in. Two. Keep breathing. A lateral. 45. Front, keep those shoulders down. So don't hunch it up, it's just what I mean. Keep it down so you're not targeting the trap muscles. Don't let those traps take over. Make it controlled with the shoulders. All right, is it burning by now? If not, you may wanna think about upping your weight selection. Again, out, 45, in front. Again, out, 45, to the front. 45, to the front. You have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, hold the 45 for eight, seven, six, five, you got it, four, three, two, now hold at the top, flip the grip, bring it back to that lateral raise, we're holding the left arm, right arm goes up for five, four, three, two, left arm for five, four, whew, three, two, hold it up, right arm for four, three, two, one, left arm for four, three, two, one, you got it, right for three, left for three, right arm for two, left arm for two, one single each arm, bilateral for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Start to hammer curl it up and down. While we hammer curl, we're gonna squeeze the biceps, palms face in, bring it back to that second position or a sumo squat. So we're about to add the legs with the arms. So let's just sink it low. Squeeze the biceps, let's make sure our Heel weight is heavy in the heels. We have eight, seven, then we're gonna add some fun stuff. Here's your last four, three, then we hold at the top, two, now hold at the top. We're gonna bring it up with the legs, neutral grip, shoulder press, bring it down, one hammer curl, one squat. So it's one curl, bring it up, Hammer curl, one, squat. Hammer curl, shoulder press. Hammer curl, one, squat. Again, hammer curl, squeeze the biceps, control it with that shoulder press. Another hammer, hold, one, squat. Again, hammer, shoulders, biceps, hamstrings and glutes. Press it up, curl it. Then squat it again. 
shoulders, biceps, front, second position, plie squat. Up, hammer curl, squat again. Keep breathing, hammer curl, eight squats. We have eight, seven, six, five, last four, three, two, hold bottom calf raises up and down, up and down. We're going to add the hammer curl back in. So what's up and squeeze? Squeeze the calves and biceps, calves and biceps. <sighs> Control it, core is engaged, you are lifted. So pretend like you have a string at the top of the head. We're not hunching, good posture, neutral spine. <sighs> Come on, stay strong. Eight more like this. You have eight, seven, six, five more. Come on, last four. Three, two, hold the arms, pulse those calves for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, eight more. Last eight, seven, and six. We hold four, three, two, now hold. Squeeze the biceps, squeeze the calves, hold and squeeze. Four, three, two, heels down, hammer curl it down and lift sink that booty one inch lower four more like this it's four three two one bring it up field goal position with the arms we're doing one arm at a time keep this field goal position elbow slightly in front of the shoulders we bring the right arm up for eight then followed by the left we're going to add the legs with it as we go up so let's go right go down go down Come on, you have four, three, two. Hold the right arm switch to the left. Eight, seven, six, five more. Come on, it's four, three, two. Right arm for six, six, five, four, three, Two, hold and switch. Six, five, four, keep pressing. Three, two, right arm for four. It's four, three, two, hold it and switch. Four, three, two, hold and switch for three. It's three two, one, hold and switch, three, two, hold and switch for two, up, hold and switch for two, alternate right and left, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, Hold the field goal, hold the squat, pulse up, 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 up. Hold that squat, it's just the arms. You have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Great job, release those arms. We're coming into our first lunge position of the day. Both hands have one dumbbell. Let's start with the left foot forward. Right foot goes back. You can make this less challenging by instead of on that balance beam, widen the base till you're on those railroad tracks. So we always want the knee behind the second and third big toe. Let's just start to pulse it. Let's not waste any time. Start to pulse. So two things we're gonna do different here. Well, maybe a little bit. Maybe just really one thing we're gonna do different here. So instead of uh, coming straight up and down, we're going to shift the upper body forward, bringing it into a Pilates style lunge. Now this shifts the attention more to the glutes. So we should feel the glutes and the hamstrings engage a little bit more. Make sure you're driving through the heel on the way up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, 
three, two. Now we're holding that lunge. Iso hold on the lunge. Bring the elbows in, dumbbells to the outside of the chest. Kick those dumbbells back. Feel tension in the triceps before we bring it back in. We have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bring it in. Pulse eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Now hold. Shift forward. Elbows in tight. Tricep kickbacks. Eight, seven, six, five more. You got it. Last four, three, two, lunge, pulses, eight, seven, six. Then we hold four, three, two. Now hold, shift the upper body forward, elbows in tight, tricep kickbacks, then in, out, then in, out, then in. Come on, four more like this. You have four, really squeeze those triceps. Two more, now hold it back, little pulses up. It's up an inch, 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 eight more. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, reverse lunges in, bring it back. Woo, nice. You can have a slightly more upright spine here. Make sure we're stepping back. Keeping the knees behind the toes. And breathe. If ever you need to take a break, take it. Hit pause. You can do that. <laughs> it's available to you. We're going nonstop. So stay with me. A few more. Now we hold that right side, shift it forward, upper body forward, weight heavy in the heel, right hip back, left hip forward, start to pulse it. Make the mind muscle connection to the glutes and to the hamstrings. For four, three, two, now hold. Palms face in, so we're going to a pronated grip. From here, dumbbells go wide, elbows flare out wide. We're hitting the upper back for a high row. So squeeze the upper back, control it on the way down. We have eight, seven, six, five. You got it, four, three, two. Back to those pulses, eight, six, four, three, two, and hold. High rows, getting right into it. Squeeze the upper back, control it. Don't fling those dumbbells for four, three, two. Back to the pulses, it's eight, six, four, three, two. Last set of high rows, eight, seven, six, Five more, you got it, squeeze, squeeze. Come on, two, then we're going to hold it with this last one, little pulses up, squeeze. Those shoulder blades together, upper back is your focus. Eight more, we have eight, seven, and six. We take it to reverse lunges, four, three, two, reverse lunges in, then back. Nice work, nice work, stay with me. In, then back, in, then back. Here's your last four, three, two, one. Bring it in, hinge from the hips. Let's bring those dumbbells down to the side, release them off however you want. Bend the knee so much so, we, we will not need those weights anymore. Bend the knee so much so that we can step the right, look, right leg back, followed by the left. We're coming into our first plank of the day. If you need to, release the knees. What I don't wanna see are butts up in the air and definitely no compressing of that lumbar spine. It's nice and level, so draw your deep belly button up and in. There should be, if you're postpartum, make sure there's no coning or tinting of that midline. So we wanna really activate the TA here. <sighs> Look forward a couple feet in front of your own hands. Feet reach back, top of the head reaches forward. Firm up the quads. 
Nice. All right, we're gonna bring the right knee in, followed by the left, maintaining this plank position. Let's go. It's right, left, right, left, right, left. Hips are down, shoulders aligned over the wrist. Come on, we're gonna pick this up. If you want, you can stay here, but if you can, we're gonna get a little cardio. Speed up the tempo. Right, left, right, left, right, left. Right, left, you got it. Eight, six, four, three, two. Hold that plank, great job. Jump the feet in towards the hands and let's bring it on up. Feet go wide, we're coming back to that second position. Start to squat, pulse it. Knees are driving out, don't let it come in. That's a common thing that'll happen. Knees will wanna cave inward. We can adjust the position to make sure we're feeling it and keeping your joints nice and safe. Eight more pulses. You have eight, seven, and six. You hold. Four, three, two. Now hold. Widen the stance a little bit more. Straighten the right leg. Make sure this left knee is bringing it back. You're not caving it in. So keep the knee over the ankle. Then bring it here. Let's take it to the other side. So little lateral lunges. Left, right, left. You can stay with this tempo or start to increase. Left, right. Then if we can, we add the punches. Punch, punch. Four, three. Now if we can, start to add the rotation. Minimize the range of motion if we need to. Eight, six, four, Three, two, one. Take a quarter turn to the right. Now we're on the right side. Right leg is forward. Left foot is back. Let's bring reverse lunges. In, then back. Four more. Last four. Three, two, one. Now hold. Shift the upper body forward until we can almost like float this left toe off the ground. Stabilize the hips by bracing the core. We're gonna dorsiflex at the left ankle, reach the heel back, and then bring it back in. So I really want you to squeeze the left glute. Should be nice and firm here, slight bend in this right knee, then bring it back, come on. It's up, then lower, up, then lower, up, then lower, focus on a non-moving point. Four more, then we're gonna hold and pulse. Two, hold it up, little pulses. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, eight, reverse lunges. Eight, tap it. Seven, six, keep driving through that heel. Four, three, two, hold it here. Shift the upper body, dorsiflex at the ankle. We bring it up, then down, up, then down, up, then lower. Come on, last four and three. We hold and pulse. Two, hold it up, little pulses. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, eight. Reverse lunges back, tap, back, then tap, back, then tap. Add the arms if you would like. Helps me balance just a little bit better. You can always use this wall to help brace. Last one, hold, shift it forward. Bring the toe off the ground, dorsiflex at the ankle. We bring it up, then lower. Very small controlled movement. Squeeze the glute, tap. Squeeze the glute, tap. Four, three, two, one. Hold it up, pulse eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Reverse lunge, pulse eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, quarter turn to the left. Pulse, second position, plie squat. Four, three, two, we go to the left, quarter turn. Last four, three, reverse lunges, eight. So it's down, tap it in, tap it in, then tap. Last four, three, two, Hold it back, make sure we're shifted forward. Square off the hips, left hip forward, right hip back. 
We bring so much weight into the left foot that we can float these right toes. Heavy in this left heel, slight, but in the left knee. Dorsiflex at the right ankle. We bring it up, squeeze the glute, then bring it down. Remember, you can brace yourself with a wall if that's available to you. Hands on the hip. Does the trick for me. Last four, three, two. Hold it up, little pulses. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Reverse lunges back, tap, back. Only about 20% of the weight is coming into this right toe. You got it, four, three, two. Hold it back, hold it back, shift it forward. Bring the toes, float them. We bring it up, then tap. Bring it up, then tap. Bring it up, then tap. Squeeze the glute. Squeeze the glute. Three, two, hold it up, little pulses. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, reverse lunge. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, hold it back, hold it back, shift the upper body, float the right toes, dorsiflex, we bring it up, then lower, up, then lower, up, then lower, four more just like this, it's four, three, two, hold it up, little pulses, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, eight more, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, reverse lunge pulse. Hold it here. Woo! For four, three, two, quarter turn to the right. Awesome work. Eight more. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, lateral lunge right and left. It's right, left, still heavy in your heels. You may have to widen the stance a little bit. Add the punches, left, right. Brace that core, you're still nice and tall with the posture. If you can, start to rotate. Come on, eight more, it's eight, six, four, three, two, one. Hold, we're taking a quarter turn back to the left. I know we just came to this side. We're really gonna fire it up. So from right here, we're bringing the right knee in towards the chest. That's a little more difficult than bringing it right back down. So it's seven more, six, five. Then we hold that lunge, four, three, two. Hold that lunge, little pulses, eight, seven, and six. We're gonna add some power to it. You can always stay with what we just did. So it's in, find space underneath that left foot, bring it back, knee in. Space under the left, land soft. Five, four, three, two, one, reverse lunge pulse. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, quarter turn to the right, heels in, toes out. Woo, all right, eight more like this, and we do the same thing on the right. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, quarter turn to the right, eight, seven, six, then we hold, four, three, two, now hold, drive the left knee in towards the chest, then bring it down, seven like this, six, five, four, three, then we pulse, two, one, hold that pulse, pulse for eight, then you have the option to do that power reverse lunge, finding space under the right in four, three, two, one, it's up, land soft. Try to find space underneath the right toes. If you are, maybe you're just coming to a calf brace, four more, perfect form, you got it. Last two, last one, reverse lunge, pause. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Quarter turn to the left, nice work. All right, start to heel toe, the feet in until we're in your normal stance for a squat. So this is mine. My pants are also pretty tight. 
My feet are always wider than hip distance apart. Feels good. Feels good for me, but if you need to bring it in closer, do it. All right, so what's coming our way is either we're gonna start slow with a just full squat up and down with the calf raise, and then if you want, we're gonna add that jump squat, but we're gonna do it gracefully. All right, just the calf raise. Squat, calf raise. Add the arms. Down, lift. Down, lift. Chest is lifted. We're not hinged. So I see all the time. And that's, uh, you know, your, your hip hinge movement is good, but we're keeping the chest lifted. Hinging more so back, like we're tapping a chair. Down, now squeeze those calves. Now, if you want, we can start to advance to that jump squat. Down, land soft. Reset after each one. Reset, power. Reset, power. Power through. Keep breathing, come on, eight more. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. Hold that squat, little pulses. For eight, seven, and six, we hold. Four, three, two, hold. Take a quarter turn to the left, just enough time to frame the foot with both hands. Step the left leg back, we're coming back to that plank. If we need to release the knees, you got it, hips are level. Draw that deep belly button up and in, mountain climbers. Right, left, right, left. This, it doesn't do much. This will hurt you in the long run. So get the form down, maybe we're just holding the plank. It's up to you. Right, a left. Now in a few moments, you can stay right here or you can start to pick up the tempo. Three, two, pick it up, right, left. Right, left, this is what we're ending on. Come on, eight, six, four, three, two, hold that plank, hold it. I have to readjust my glasses, hold and squeeze. Top of the head, reaching forward, look a couple feet in front, heels reach back, draw that deep belly button up and in, press that mat away, hold and squeeze. Breathe through it. I am dripping sweat. I'm right there with you. 15 seconds. 10, 8, 5, 4, 3, 2. Release the knees, toes go together, and just send those hips back to the heels. A little child's pose. Oh, amazing work. All right. <laughs> I could just stay here all day. Let's frame the, the head with both hands. Bring it up, let's get a nice little hip flexor stretch going first. Right foot forward, right hip back, left hip forward. Oh. Inhale, left arm reaches up and over. Feeling a nice stretch along the front of the left hip flexor. As we exhale, square off the hips even more, send that right leg back, straighten it, and then hinge forward, hitting the back of the right hamstring. Can you see my glasses fogged up? And I'm dripping sweat. Y'all ask for it. You're welcome, I guess. <laughs> Bring it in. What doesn't challenge us doesn't change us. But try not to work out in a really heavy sweatpant attire. Because man, this is not good. Oh, not good. Sorry I'm not like the cute, cute Instagram bra and legging matching wearing, but you know, this is how I go to the gym. This is how I roll. Take it or leave it. All right, let's bring it on back. Flex the foot, Dorsey flex. Start to slow the breath down. All right, let's just meet into a nice, easy seated position. Let's hit the side of the body first. Inhale, both arms reach up. Exhale, left arm reaches up and over. Draw the left shoulder blade back, side bend up and over a little bit deeper. Okay, so they just closed schools where I am currently living in, in West Virginia. Um, so if you're watching this like a year from now, uh, this is a uh, coronavirus. And uh, so I'm, it looks like I may be spending more time here. So this is right at my house. I'll be here with my kids probably for the next few weeks. 
If you have any recommendations or something that you wanna see because you can't get to the gym or your bar class or yoga class, whatever it is, let me know. Cause it looks like I may have some free time on my hands. We don't know yet, it's, it's all new. Inhale up, exhale cactus and squeeze. Inhale, reach up. Exhale cactus and squeeze, awesome work today. All right, I need to go shower now before I pick up my kids from their last day of school, maybe all year. Um, anyway, great job today. That was very challenging. Also not as many cues as I normally do. So let me know how it went, if you liked it or not. Now, if it was too challenging, this is something to work up to. So great job, whatever you were able to do today, be proud of yourself. Uh, again, my name is Laurie, and thank you so much for joining me for this bar boot camp. Awesome job, and have a wonderful day.